So I said, I didn't want to do politics on a Friday, and that's usually our rule. But I really feel like things are getting a bit fractious in South Africa, and I think we just need to take stock because if if we don't let sensible heads prevail at the moment, things really could slip a little bit out of control. You know, the EFF rally just primed a whole lot of people uh, on, on the EFF support side to say and do outrageous and uh, ridiculous things. Uh, we've seen activity online and in the real world over the past couple of days that's got a lot of people concerned. Apparently yesterday, a whole bunch of uh, guys pitched up at the EFF headquarters, a whole bunch of, um, of Afrikaans dudes, and they were standing there and looking intimidating. And the EFF, obviously, because they are you know, children, um, really. And I don't mean to say that these Buddha were doing the right thing either. But for the EFF, uh, this is like provocation. Because to them, it's not provocation that Julius said, kill the farmer, kill the boer on the stage. That's just a struggle zone, you know? But it is provocation if you pitch up at their headquarters. So there was a lot of noise yesterday online. Uh, there were a lot of people taking sides. And things just spun out of control. I wasn't really paying attention to it. And Ryan kind of alerted me to it this morning because everybody is getting into trouble now for their opinions online. Everybody is being forced to take sides. Um, people are being pulled in whether they like it or not because the gravity of this thing is building. We've got an election next year. There's a lot on the line. This country's in big shit, okay? And I don't want to make too much of this because I do think that ordinary South Africans across the board, no matter what their political beliefs are, no matter what their fears about the other side might be, and I, I, I hate saying the other side because I think we're all South Africans and I don't think most people think about black and white every day. I think the politicians make us talk like that. But I do want to say this because I think it needs saying. So we've got to calm this down. We don't have any leadership in the form of a president who's going to stand up and unify the nation and remind people of our common goals, the things that pull us together, the fact that we have to get through this year, and we're almost there. I mean, we've got a holiday next week, which will be a big moment for everybody to just take a nice deep breath and calm down. But it seems to me that there is agitation happening an already annoyed and economically pressured country is being pushed to a point where people are now looking for someone to blame for their unhappiness. Um, we know that there have been incidents uh, over the last couple of years, including those riots which really um, tested us. It was at probably the lowest point we've been since democracy. And I think we've all got to just keep a cool and calm head about this. It's not going to come from the EFF, right? They're not going to make anybody calmer. It is in their interests to stoke things up until there is something of an incident so that they can say, look, you see, we told you South Africa is on the brink. And look, we're the revolutionaries. We're here to fix things. And that's not going to help anyone. Similarly, if, you know, justifiably angry farmers who are sick to death of being murdered on their farms, and we know that's a real thing, as we discussed in the burning platform yesterday, are going to get riled up enough to go and provoke or even stand up for themselves, as the case may be. We're looking for a reason for an incident to happen, and we can't afford this now. So I just think everybody needs to Take the holiday on Wednesday next week. It's irritating that it's in the middle of the week, but it does mean you have a two-day work week, then another two-day work week. It's going to give people a little bit of time to gather their thoughts, be with their families, think about what's important to them, and consider that the politicians are not going to come and help us this time. They haven't for the last, I don't know, 12, 15 years. So it's up to you, and it's up to me, and I just want us to be sensible. I don't want us to do stupid stuff at the moment. I don't want us to find or to give reasons to those people who want to divide us. Um, and I think this is massively important because really, I don't, I don't know that we've been at a more emotionally sensitive, delicate point for the longest time. So as you go into the weekend, we're not going to talk any more politics this morning, I promise. But I don't want us to spiral into race politics into blaming each other, into provoking each other, into looking for reasons to 
get into physical altercations. Let's all just be very calm. Let's remember about, you know, the story of this country. Let's remember where we come from. Remember what pulls us together. I wish this president that we had could give you this message, but he's incapable. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's tending the gardens at home. Maybe he's having a, a glass of whiskey. Uh, maybe he's just hiding because he has no idea of what to do. He's out of his depth. So in the absence of him saying this, I hope this message reaches enough people for us to just keep our shit together. Okay? That's really it. There are enough good people in this country. The majority of the people in this country are good people. They go to work. They try to do their best. Even if they don't have a job, they try to do their best. There are grannies raising whole villages in South Africa. There are single moms out there working two, three jobs to try and pay for things. There are people studying their backsides off to finish this year at school or at university. There are people who are just trying to get through the day and just trying to make ends meet. And those are not bad people who want worse situations for this country. So let's all put our heads down and do the right thing.